some crazy shit, bro. I've been watching a lot of things lately. Like I said, just observing everything that's going on, soaking up a lot of knowledge. You know, just remembering and reminiscing and wondering what happened in certain areas and why it happened. Because when you're a kid, you don't, you can't, you don't think of that. Like when you're growing up, you're just trying to figure out what's going on by the people that you being raised up by. You feel me? And it's just so crazy how this shit goes. Cause it's like, this is a whole psychological war. It's not physical. Cause you always lose when it's, you always, you, we always gonna lose physically. This war that that's, that's going on. The battle between our seeing that we're free, understanding that we're free, or what freedom means, like what we that's what we gotta really start defining shit. We gotta define shit for ourselves to even really get to the meat and potatoes. We ain't even started at the motherfucking seeds in the ground, you feel me? Like we, we got weeds in our shit. But it's like they have all these distractions and they is who fucking they is. You feel me? I don't need nobody talking to me about who is they. Because they know who they is. Oh, God. But it's like... One of, I was talking to one of my homeboys. And he was just like, you know, slavery. It's like we didn't have nothing for all them years. And then we just decided, you know... Once, like once they decided to let us in a little bit, and we start getting a little bit of something. It's like we want, we want, like we desire it so, like so much. I, I gotta finish my sentences, but we desire it so much that it's like we, like we get our taste of it, and then we just like, oh shit, this tastes good. Let me just keep on eating this, cause this is really good. But it's like. They don't. They didn't give us enough to sustain ourselves for that reason. It's like psychologically, you ain't had nothing for a long time. So I know if you get something, you ain't gonna be able to contain yourself. You gonna have to go and and try and scrape for your shit. And then on top of that, I'm gonna give you some more shit to make it even harder for you to get this thing that you want. And that does something to you psychologically it does something because it's like you know things are happening that are out of your control but it's point it's like it's not pointless that's not the word i wanted to use it's like small little things that you don't understand like why would a person be like this because of this and so it makes you upset because you can't do anything about it and you want to so bad. So then you just start doing anything you can to try and get the shit. It's crazy. It's called psychological warfare because niggas be going crazy. Niggas be going psycho out this motherfucker trying to figure it out. It's your mind that they want to capture. That's why there's so many things that distract you. Like I be saying, it's so many things because this here if it's not strong they can always control you and it sounds like i'm talking about some what, 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 conspiracy shit right now i ain't even known that you feel me i i don't not believe in conspiracies and i don't do believe in i, I didn't say that right but you know what i'm saying it's like i'm not for it i'm not against it it just is what it is but it's like that's all you need to know in this world if you know what you want if you are clear about what you want and you keep on focusing on it you keep on choosing it the shit is gonna come to you and it's that part of it it's like if you don't have your mind your mind is a part of your imagination yo the fact that you can like the world is so bland like, I'm just looking at these goddamn buildings. It's just like, there's no pop no more. Like, in the 90s, shit was popping, but niggas was still also growing. Like, 
the, the generation before us, it's like, when you do some shit like that, like, when, when you, when a person can't go do something because of the color of their skin, as a young generation, you get angry, like I said, because you wonder why, and you, you try to understand, you try to be understanding, and then people keep, continue to do, like, sideways shit to you, like, that shit crazy, man, like, I, I really want to look into the aborigines, like, the first motherfuckers, like, how did all this shit start, like, clearly niggas was really trying to take over shit, because niggas was a different, you know, color of skin and shit, and did different shit, but honestly, I think it was because niggas was powerful, very powerful, like, you know some shit I don't know type powerful, and that's, I feel like that's where the idea of informants and all that bullshit came from, because niggas would really be in niggas' places, you feel me, if we put it in our terms, niggas would be in niggas' hoods, you feel me, listening, watching, observing, that's why it's crucial, it's crucial, you gotta, you gotta be on your swivel, on your toes out here, because a nigga will get right up under you, right up under your armpit, like y'all buddies and best friends in that bitch, get every piece of your game, make you tell all of your life stories, make you tell your weak, look at your weakest, find out your weakest spots, find out your strengths, and when the shit is 35 years in, nigga, you didn't, you ain't got shit to, you ain't got shit, your socks is off, your toes ain't clipped, your motherfucking, everything straggly, you feel me, you looking like who shot who, just because you wasn't aware on your toes, just because you wanted to talk and, and be showy and gaudy and shit, and look at what I got, and you ain't got this, and, and trying to fucking power niggas, like, <laughs> it's, it's strategy with strategy, I was just watching Fresh, I think, like yesterday, and life is a game of motherfucking chess. And there's the, the, it's the game that the nigga is spitting in there. Samuel L. Jackson, he was saying some shit to the little nigga. And while they was playing chess, he was saying it in chess terms, but it's life. That's how I be looking at shit. That's why I could live easy over this motherfucker, you feel me? Because there's nothing that I'm not doing for myself. I'm not blaming anything on the outside. As long as I don't have anything to blame on the outside of me, there's nothing anyone can do to me. That's that's what I mean. That's how you become powerful. It's like, I know what I want. I know what I choose. I know where I'm going. I know like that I don't want this. I know that I want this. And there's no way you can dress this up to make it look like this for me. Like... It's just crazy, the whole, the whole, how, the whole gist, like, how everything is just, like, it's just like, damn. And all I did was watch the fucking, this little thing of Mac Dre and how he died and shit, you feel me? It's like, it's a pattern, and really, they just killed a generation of niggas that was gonna really change some shit at this motherfucker, you feel me? Shit would probably have color around this motherfucker. If you ask me. Niggas would probably be holding hands around the world, but it's like that for a reason. It's like that for a reason. Without the illusion, <laughs> niggas would not have life. That's how I feel. Like, what are we doing here if there's no purpose? There has to be something off. A lot. And there has to be something on by a lot. And you have to find yourself right here. It's just... <clears throat> Once you find things so simple, it becomes crazy how hard it is for other people. 
And really, it shouldn't be like that. It should be like, I've been here in this situation before. I can help you. And then, if the nigga refused to help, then, all right. You don't got to really, you don't got to push your weight on that. You feel me? Don't look at the nigga and be like, that nigga don't deserve my help. And then just walk off and leave the nigga just to be like. <sniffs> That's how I'm, I'm choosing right now. That's how I'm really choosing. This thing is not for me. But that's not what I meant to say. It's like this thing. What was I saying? Dang. I'm not going to choose what I don't want, period. First, let me just say that. Because I'm really trying to wreck my brain looking for that thought. But, man, all I can say is we got power. And we got power only if we don't focus on the distractions for long. I don't watch motherfucking TV. I got some shit that I be watching on YouTube here and there. And I be watching some shit that's going to really turn my motherfucking gears up there, you feel me, my shit gotta be a well oiled machine on the daily, I can't have no lacking nowhere, <laughs> you feel me, you still have fun, you still enjoy life, but, like I said, head on the swivel, niggas could be three cars behind you, I sound like a motherfucker, I sound like Franklin Saint on that bitch, oh, niggas is watching me, fuck out of here, boy, Look, it's certain shit that you just don't say. Because niggas will test you on that. It's just certain shit that you don't do. Because niggas will test you on that. And if you know you ain't about that, don't be trying to get tested for real. You feel me? That's just it. It be niggas out here that really be just yapping, flapping, jaw jacking, no stacking, no having ass niggas. But you know what? I don't do nothing. I always think about, like, what, what, really? <laughs> that shit's so funny. I always think about what would Jesus do? Ah, get your head ass out of here. Nah, for real, though. Like, I always think about that. Like, what would Jesus do? Like, did Jesus ever pull up on a nigga when he was disrespected? Like, tell me something. Because, like, to me, that's the only nigga I read about that was, like, the purest nigga in life. Like, this nigga used to get it, like, wash people's feet and shit. Like, did them nigga, did he wash the people's feet that hit, that disrespect him? If they did, like, let me know something. Let me have a vision of something. Because, real time, I'm trying to walk the Jesus way. I'm trying to give niggas the benefit of the doubt. Because I know they, you feel me? Let me shut up. But, I'm trying to walk that way, for real. Like, really touch my people and help them and really nowadays niggas crucify you by leaving you to your lonely by talking about you bad to your face or behind your back like that's how niggas crucify you nowadays they don't throw no rocks at you the rocks is the worst you feel me um well uh sticks and stones may break my bones so the worst can never hurt me you feel me like Shit all correlates in life. That's how I see it. But nah, man, like, real time, like, you gotta be real cordial. You feel me? I give a lot of people the benefit of the doubt. Like, I be saying, like, I, I approach niggas, like, you know, how you doing? You know? And I observe. I'm gonna let you be you. Too many niggas get around me, and I'm cool as fuck, and then they start acting out. Be like, yeah, you cool. Like, let's, let's hang out and shit. And then they try to little homie me. I'm not one of them. I'm not a fucking new thumb ass nigga. I feel my big shoes already, my nigga. Like, I don't know, man. I ain't got no type of chips on my shoulder. If I had a chip on my shoulder, it would be a different type of anger, bro. Like, when I get angry, I start smiling at niggas. You feel me? 
Like, you know, I, I ain't even got to do nothing. It's, it's really there. Like, it's really at that point. You got to make niggas back down because niggas ain't going to do nothing but talk. And I ain't going up to nobody. I ain't, I'm not a fighter. I know where my place in life is. Like, real time, I know how to take responsibility for shit that I do. So, therefore, I'm not going to do the shit that I'm not, like, I'm not there with that. I'm not no arguing ass nigga. I ain't no fighting ass nigga. So, I'm going to do neither. But I am going to put you on a defensive end and make you defend yourself. This is psychological. I don't use what I know for ill intentions. And that's why I be saying it's very, very dangerous. If you know something. And you use it for a different intention. That's why I will never let niggas get under my skin. I won't ever become that nigga that flips. And come try to shoot your ass or some shit over nothing. You feel me? Because like I said, words don't mean nothing at this point to me. I don't give a fuck. You're clearly upset with yourself somewhere in that life of yours. And you just gonna have to deal with that some way. You feel me? Like, I could help you. But if you stubborn. If you don't wanna know. If you don't really care to listen you ain't gonna receive it I ain't like man God didn't come to me with this and shove me into it God wasn't forcing me to get my shit together God wasn't forcing me to grow Yes, God was guiding me. God was showing me, like, nigga, look. Like, the big-ass signs, like, fucking look at me and fucking arrows and shit. I had to choose it. And that's all I can do as a person. That's what I've realized. It's just getting this much thinner. Me and God, we like really here with it, boy. Like you can't see us for real. I'm in tune with my intuition. Me and God stay on P. You feel me? I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about, boy. I'm <clears throat> just keep it a thousand. I just be talking, bro. I don't be talking about anything. Anybody who 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 really look at these videos and really like get some inspiration, really like see about this shit. Fucking kudos, man. Kudos, hit me up. Let's have a conversation. What you know? What you wanna know? You feel me? I ain't one of them niggas that wanna, you know. I just. I'm observant, and I see certain types of shit. And if I don't like it, I'm out of here, man. I ain't got time to stop. I ain't got time to see no more. I ain't got time. Like, look, 20s, it's 20s, it's 2020 vision. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it makes sense for sure. 2020 vision. <laughs> Niggas gonna say I'm crazy as hell. They gonna be like, I just tweeting. Something's wrong with her. She's on drugs. Oh my God, somebody get a medic. Go get the van and the straight jacket. When niggas talk high, <laughs> when niggas talk highly, if you get what I'm saying, because I'm really speaking in code. <laughs> when you speak highly, niggas be like, nah, that's some other shit. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing that. Because the rest of the world ain't fucking doing it. The rest of the world is scared. They don't want to see that. They don't want to be that. Oh, they going to go. It's That's why conspiracy is crucial. Everything fucking weaves in. Niggas is scared to speak the truth. They scared. Get mine. They don't get charged.
They scared for real. Truth is a motherfucker, man. But you know what? Strategy beats strategy. Whose is better? You got one strategy and I got another strategy. Whoever is better, that's the winner. You gotta stay eight steps ahead on these motherfuckers. And you gotta know. And there's only a few ways that you can know. I'm gonna tell you the secret. I'm gonna give you this little gem right here. This is what God did for me. You, you feel me? I ain't saying I'm God or none of that shit. Don't take your blasphemous asses somewhere else. God put this in my vicinity. The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene, I think his name. The boy that, the boy. Ah, the man, the man, the dude. The dude that wrote the, um, the books with the mastery and, 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 and war and strategies. I don't think he wrote that one. He, he, I don't think he wrote that one. He, I don't know. Robert Greene. Look up the nigga. Laws of Human Nature. Conversations with God. One through five. Outwitting the devil and uh, experience. That's what. That's the best fucking combination, bro. That is all the best combinations of everything. The first three you really gotta read and understand it for yourself and come to co collections with yourself. You feel me? But that last one, that's the one where niggas fail. That's the one where niggas is like, uh, I, I don't know if I want to see about this. It's a touchy thing. When I first started speaking this truth, when I first started really honing in on what I believe and knowing and understanding that what I'm saying is not hurting or harming nobody, Life changed for me. Life truly changed for me. I stopped allowing people to tell me what the fuck was going on in my life and with my life and how my life is going and how it's going to go and what the outcome is going to be. And because they don't understand what's happening in theirs, they just want to be. <sighs> no, bro. I'm cool. How'd you get me? Nah, bro, I'm having fun, real time. I ain't no perfect ass nigga, like I be saying. I, I have times where I just be like. And I just got times where I just be like. But every time, no matter if it's up or down, I'm thankful than a motherfucker. Because I could be in the grave. <laughs> Oh, this book. Nah, bro, I'm gonna be in tune, though. And I've been smoking a lot of weed. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> yeah, I'm a doofus, man. It's real life. It's real life. I love y'all. I know I got off topic a bunch of times, but... God be having me speaking in the craziest moments about the craziest things, but it all weaves in because I'm about to implement it in my life so crazy. I'm only 30, bro. Imagine what happens when I'm fucking 31. That's where I'm at with it. Imagine when it come 30 and a half, nigga. Anyway, I love y'all. Be well.